Hey folks, how you doing? So, uh, if you're here, you're probably having the same problem I am, uh, going through, looking, trying to figure out shit. So I've got a 2021 Players 570. Uh, I've got about 59 hours on the motor, not that much. Uh, out riding with uh, buddies, started backfiring, spit, spitting, sputtering, stall, couldn't get to start, started throwing codes. Uh, checked it out, I got a P26361. Uh, you go do a little bit of searching and find out that is a crankshaft position sensor code. Um, when doing a little more looking, it turns out it's kind of also a catch-all code. But regardless of all that, so digging around some more, you're going to find that Polaris does a shit job building their wiring harnesses. So we did looking around. I took it to the shop, shop, unplugged the plug, cleaned it, plugged it back in, said I was good to go. Died. 20 minutes into the next ride. So, I'm gonna show you what I found and what I did. So if you're looking over here at the front of this machine, uh, you'll see on yours, obviously not mine, there's a plug that's right about here. It's gonna be a big black plug and then there's gonna be a smaller white one right above it that's gonna be mounted to that bolt. Those are your stator wires and your crankshaft position center wires. They, because Polaris and their infinite wisdom there, decide that they want to run the wire under the motor by the oil filter there. So, after the second ride and I said I'm not pissing with the dealership, we started ripping the harness apart. Found out that the wiring actually had wore through where it goes up under the motor. Pretty much everywhere there was a zip tie that they used to zip tie it to the frame. So, what we ended up doing is we unplugged those wires. This is actually it right here. I unplugged these two, unhooked them from the zip ties, pulled them out from under the other side of the motor here. I ended up taking some, I believe it was 3 8 rubber hose, just splitting it right down the middle here and wrapping it around as my own hose guard. I ran the wiring into it, taped it all up and moved it so it's in front of everything and it's fixed the problem. I haven't had any issues since. Um, hopefully this helps or at least gives you a, somewhat of a right direction. Uh, I wasn't able to find this on any other forums or anything that I could find. Let me know.